Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I got so much great feedback on the last one and I really love this format of being able to share with you. So I thought I would vlog today. It's actually a Sunday. The boys are currently outside playing. So I figured now is as good an opportunity as any to um, intro and have a chat. Um, maybe I'll share with you what I'm wearing and then I actually, this box arrived with some very fun things inside that I can't wait to share. So I thought we could unbox this together. And also I thought that I could chat about our upcoming home reno and what we're planning to do, that sort of thing, because um, now we kind of have some more solid concrete plans. So that's very exciting. Um, let me show you what I'm wearing first and then we will uh, open up that box. <laughs> Okay, so earrings I'm wearing today are my Lise hoops from Linya, my beloved chain necklace from Majuri, and my favorite little chain bracelet from Monica Veneta. Then the top that I'm wearing is a little ruffle singlet from H&M. It's an old one. Jeans are the new cheeky straight jeans from Everlane. I really like these. I've got them in the 26, so they actually fit me properly. You can see they've got a really nice high rise, uh, and I also have the ankle length. They do give ever so slightly when you're wearing them, so um, I have like a little bit of room at the waist, but um, I prefer that than for them to be too tight. And then shoes are from June. Okay, so I've got my coffee and I've got my box of things which I'm gonna open up with you. And I'm actually really excited to share that this part of the video is in partnership with Ship It To, a service that I've been using for 15 years. Um, and it's unbelievable, very, very cool to actually be able to talk about their service in a little bit more detail with you because I have mentioned it a number of times over the years. So if you aren't familiar with what Ship It To is, it is a mail forwarding service. So it essentially allows you to have an American mailbox so that you can purchase products from brands or companies which only ship within the US and then they will forward it on to you. Um, so it's been really, really convenient for me to purchase things from brands like, for example, Quince. This crossbody camera bag is one which I use their mail forwarding service to purchase. Uh, and I know a couple of people had actually taken that up so they could do the same and were very thrilled with their buy. This is a great bag, by the way. Um, and yeah, it's, it's what I really like about it is that you can also consolidate your shipment. So usually one of the things that I will do when I am making a purchase online is I will actually uh, time it so that I'm ordering from a few different companies and then I package everything together and it allows you to save up to 80% of the cost of shipping it to yourself and you can ship it to anywhere in the world um, and the great thing is they also offer a number of different shipping options as well so you can choose it based on the speed um, so they do have more expedited services or they have ones which are perhaps a little bit more affordable but they do take a bit longer. So I love that about the service. Signing up to ship it to is really easy. So um, I am gonna quickly show you that process on screen. And once you have signed up, you do receive your personalized address. Now I thought it would actually be useful if I showed you how to use ship it to. So essentially you go on the website where you wanna buy something, you add everything to cart, and then you go to checkout. And it's during the checkout phase that you need to enter the address, the personalized address that you have received from ship it to. Um, into the address details. So you can see I've done that here. Then for the billing details, I'll always put my actual address in there if I can. Um, if not, I will just put Ship It To's um, shipping details as well. And I usually put their phone number as well, which you can find on their website. So it's very easy and you just put in your credit card details and everything as normal. Then when your parcel is received at the Ship It To warehouse, you get a notification so that you can then complete the customs declaration and you can choose any optional extra so they do things like they can take additional photos of the products for you so you can be sure that you are happy with it before it gets sent on to you. You can add bubble wrap. There's tons of different um, extras that you can arrange for at that time, which is great. Uh, and I will also show you what my dashboard looks like and you can actually refer back here if you want to see all your sent items and you can see here like all the tracking information as well for items that have been sent. If you do want to try Ship It To out for yourself, I do have a special link which I'm going to put on screen and in the description box below, which will give you 15% off your first shipment with Ship It To once you sign up. So something I highly recommend taking up if you have been thinking about 
about maybe buying something from Quince or Glossier, which I have some Glossier bits in here, or even another store for retailer that only ships within the US. Um, I am, I know I've talked about this service so many times over the years, but clearly it's one that I personally am really, really happy with. I've continued to go back to ship it to over and over again, and I've never had a bad experience. I found them to be very, very reliable. Okay. So let's actually talk through what I got, uh, because I'm really excited. So I got a couple of pieces from Quince, and then I also bought some makeup from Glossier because I had been wanting to try a few things out and I figured now why not because I haven't really bought a lot of new makeup in a while. So maybe we'll talk through the fashion pieces first and then we'll talk through the makeup. Okay, so first thing that I got from Quince, and I'm just going to unwrap it, is this Mongolian cashmere cardigan and it's in a creamy off-white color and then it has these contrasting light brown buttons. And this is ultra soft. Um, I am going to have a video on best basic cashmere sweaters coming very, very soon. I've been talking about this for ages, but it's more just been a matter of uh, filming it. Now sun's back at daycare, I actually can, because um, it's going to be a bit of a long one. But um, Quince cashmere, I think, is incredible value for money. And I was really, really happy with the cashmere crew neck sweater that I have. And I especially like this sort of a style. I like this sort of more oversized boyfriend fit cardigans. Um, and for me, one of the things I liked about this is the fact that it has texture through it as well, through that kind of ribbed knit, which is something you'll know I love, and actually a detail we have on our Miere cotton cardigans. So one of the things that I tend to think about a lot when I am buying anything new like this is immediately, can I wear it with three outfits at least? And it's not just that I only want to wear it with those three outfits. It For me, that is a starting point. It's kind of a diving platform into all of the possibilities because I know if I can instantly come up with three outfits that there are going to be so many more options. And perhaps actually, after I've unboxed all of this, I can show you some different ways that I would style it. So I'm going to try that on. Uh, then the other thing that I purchased, and I was really, really curious about these, um, is some active wear. Quince does a lot of active wear. I've never tried it before, and I thought I'd give their leggings a go. And actually, one thing you can choose when you're in the Ship It To dashboard is whether you want all of the original packaging from your purchase, or if you want it all removed, or if you just want sort of like the slip pockets and things like that, that the items come in, which is really great. And if you choose for no packaging, then clearly they'll be able to fit your items into a smaller box, especially if you have purchased quite a bit. Um, so, these are called, I'm not sure if that's the name on here, hang on. They're called the Flow Knit Ultra Soft Performance Legging and I have them in the color charcoal. I got the size small, which would be my usual size in active wear, so uh, we good to see if they fit. These are really, really stretchy though on first impressions, and very soft. Um, I like having leggings like this, especially during the colder months so that I can go running in them or do yoga, Pilates, that sort of thing. So um, I thought it would be nice to give my Active wear a little bit of a refresh, and then I bought a bunch of things from Glossier. So, oh my god, I can hear our sun outside, it's so cute. Um, so, first thing that I want to pull out actually is quite exciting. This is a beauty bag. I've seen quite a lot of people use this and actually look like a really good size just for every day uh, for all of your kind of core. <laughs> for your core beauty essentials. The, it is that very classic Glossier pink, and then it has in hot pink <laughs> Glossier cross there. It has a zip up pocket in the front here, and then a large pouch, which I'm going to say the zipper on this is not very smooth. Um, and then inside it has these felted compartments, and it actually looks like you can pull that out as well if you don't want that in there. So um, I thought this would be a handy one to have uh, just so I can stash my favorite beauty essentials in there. And then in here, I got some things that I've had my eye on for a while. And actually one I think is a new launch and then the other ones I've had on my wish list for ages. So first thing I got was Future Dew, which is this oil serum hybrid. So you kind of use this when you're prepping your skin for makeup. So that there is what it looks like. And then I've been dying to try these for so long the cloud paints. 
I got two of those. I got the colors Bean and Dusk, both which are more kind of peachy colors because uh, as we come into summer, I really like a peachy toned blush. And then the other two products I got were the Solar Paint. This is a luminous bronzer cream. I love a cream bronzer, and so this was right up my alley. It's kind of a, it's, this is what the packaging looks like. So I've got the color Ray, and yeah, it's a doe foot applicator. And then finally, I purchased one of the Ultra Lips. So this is Hydrating Shine and Color, and I got this in the shade, what's down here? Coop which I thought would be really fun. So again, that very classic Glossier Millennial Pink packaging. And then that is the color, really fun, uh, orange toned red. So maybe what I'll do now is I'll show you a couple of the different ways that I would wear that I'll pack a cardigan. And then actually it'd be fun to play around with the makeup. So I might take off my base makeup and uh, see how that goes as a bit of a first impression. Okay, so here I have on that alpaca cardigan and I thought I would just show you how it looked with my outfit because this is one of the ways I would wear it, just very casual at home, maybe with a faded black jean, but um, it's a really nice sort of boxy fit and as mentioned, I did get the small, so I would say if it's still available, stick true to size. Here's another way that I would wear this cardigan. I've literally kept all the other outfit details the same except for the pants, which I've swapped out for these um, beige cotton linen shorts from Madewell. This is much more of a monochromatic look than with the tan sandals. And I really like this, definitely something I would wear on a day when it's warm, but it's also a little bit cool. Third way to wear would be buttoned up and tucked into a pair of jeans or trousers, skirt or shorts. So I'm wearing these linen trousers from the Inez Della Frisage and Uniqlo collaboration. These I got last year, I think it was. Um, and I've also cuffed the sleeves ever so slightly. And again, same shoes. So that's another way that I would wear it. I'd wear it with a slip skirt. I'd wear it over a little slip dress or just even with a standard summer dress. So very very pleased with this purchase okay and i just have those leggings on which i got in the small and they're very very soft and very stretchy um that's kind of how they look and i'll give you a better look at the color as well um so i reckon these are definitely more suited for kind of a yoga or pilates as opposed to running because i think if i was running the waistband might fall down a little bit but it comes up to a really nice height I'm just around my belly button. I was also really curious to try out those products from Glossier, so I figured I might as well do that now. Um, I have taken off my uh, base makeup. I was just wearing a tint of moisturizer, and I've moisturized, so I'm gonna start with that Glossier Future Dew Hybrid Oil Serum. Um, I don't really use a lot of oils because I do tend to find that they can sometimes be a little bit rich for me. Um, but I've heard really good things about this and I think it's meant to make your skin look very luminous. I've just put two pumps on my hand and I'm going to just work that into my skin. I can definitely see a little bit of a glow immediately to my skin from that. So you can see all the redness that's from my dermatitis. That's literally the only reason why I wear tinted moisturizer. I think otherwise I'd probably just conceal only. Okay, so... I find that actually works into your skin really seamlessly and it's quite a nice texture as well. I'm just trying to come up a little bit closer. You can kind of see there's a luminescence to my skin, but it doesn't look sparkly or um, overly shiny, probably the way that I would describe it. So I quite like that as a primer is the way that I would use it. Then I am going to just put my base back on, which is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free. I use the shade 2N one nude. I don't actually put too much of this on my face. I tend to just focus it um, under the eyes and around my nose and chin. So I'm just going to use my fingers. Um, that, what's it called? The Future Dew. <laughs> um, it really sort of sank into the skin very quickly. So I don't really feel like I had to wait too long. I don't put much product on my nose, by the way, if you ever wonder, <laughs> because my nose just does not take foundation very well. Um, I like this because it's very uh, light and it gives me just enough coverage. My skin still looks like skin and it looks 
very luminous. I don't really tend to put too much on my forehead, but I'll put any excess. I actually really like the way that my skin looks. It looks a little bit more glowy than normal. I do find that that tinted moisturizer is quite luminescent as it is, but I think that looks really good. Okay, I think now we'll do bronzer. And I'm always a little bit nervous when I use a new bronzer for the first time because you don't know, you know, whether you need a lot or a little. Uh, so yeah, this is the packaging and it just has that doe foot applicator. So I might just dot couple like that and just down my nose all right it's a gamble wondering how this is gonna blend out <laughs> so it looks quite dark yeah okay that blends out really easily um, I've sort of actually stopped applying bronzer all the way out there so I tend to just apply it more on the high points of my cheek as I feel like that looks a little bit more natural that actually blends out really really well it's just um Bring that down the bridge of my nose and I don't think it looks too much too overpowering requires very very little effort actually to blend out which is nice and just coming up closer so you can see my skin you can't really see it on my skin it just looks like I've got a bit of color on my cheeks so I like that then we have these cute little Cloud paints. Um, I'm not really sure which one to use. Maybe I should use a mixture of both. So as I mentioned, I've got Dusk and Beam. I'm just going to swatch both of them on the back of my hand and then we can decide seeing as it is a cream blush. Okay, so I swatched on the back of my hands. The more brownie colored one is Dusk and then the more bright coral toned peach is Beam. Maybe we can do one of each so we can see how they both look. So we'll start off with Dusk, which I'm going to put on my right cheek. I'm just gonna actually pat that in with my skin. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna pat that in with my fingers, should I say. Oh, I've got a lot there. Maybe we'll just use this brush to finish things off. That's really pretty. I like that. That looks very, very natural. Um, I feel like it works really seamlessly with the solar paint, which I have in the shade Ray. Okay, let's try out Beam on the other side, which I think is going to look a lot more vibrant. Definitely be a really good one for when I am super tan. Well, if I get super tan at all over the summer. I just finished blending that out with my brush. So that one actually feels a little bit more pigmented, probably because it's brighter. And it's definitely showing up brighter on my skin. But again, that is really pretty as well so you can kind of see the difference this one here is a little bit more subtle whereas this one feels a little bit brighter and fun okay cute really like those and then uh, as mentioned I have the ultra lip in the shade coupe which is that lovely tangerine color so ooh, that is a lot brighter than I thought I was actually expecting this to be more of a sheer wash, sheer wash of color, but that is fun. Mm. Feels really comfortable on the lips, nice and shiny. I really like that. So I am actually very happy with all of the products that I bought. Definitely going to be adding them into regular rotation. Um, I don't normally get that lucky with makeup products, so uh, that was a good one. I was very, very selective about what I did buy, though, so... Very happy. Um, yeah, Ship It Too is a great way to actually get to try it. Plus, yeah, if you've been wanting to for a while. face makeup looks great the lip product um, you can probably tell it's sort of worn off and now it's a bit of a stain on my lips I sort of just um, blended it into my lips a little bit better after I ate um, but now I've just been taking some photos of some items that I realized either I wasn't reaching for and wearing or that I felt just kind of gave into this fantasy life that I don't actually have 
I've talked about fantasy self before and essentially the whole concept is that you're buying things which fulfill a life that you don't have and maybe you aspire to have it or it could be that you really admire or you really love the lifestyle another person has that you see online. Um, and yeah, that's definitely been me. And there's also one jacket which I've just come to the conclusion, or at least I've just admitted to myself finally that it's a little bit too small for me. So um, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you my little setup that I tend to use. So I've got this clothing rail here, which sits in our spare bedroom. I bring in the Philips. Um, this is my steam iron, which I've had for a while now. It's brilliant. And then I just take all the photos using my um, camera, which our sun dropped. So now I can't actually put a lens cap on it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here's a little peek at some of the things I'm going to be selling. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to pop them up, but um, this is on top that I love, but I just came to the realization that um, I don't really love when things are too frilly around my face. Um, like this is another Cezanne top. Another thing I realized is I don't like prints too close to my face. So we just fixed that up. We've got the It Crew version of my favorite Isabel Moronto 12 skirt, which I never wear. Um, this beautiful woolen blazer, which is almost heavy enough to be like a coat. This is the jacket, which really is just too small for me. <laughs> this dress fits into my fantasy life very nicely, this beautiful Matteau dress. I thought instead I'd buy um, a set from their current season um, and pass this one on. I love, love, love this coffee blossom floral, but I just, I think I've worn it twice. Yeah, those things will all be going up on my Depop, hopefully going to a good home. and some vacuuming and I'm now sitting down with my tea and my ginger nut for dunking and I thought I would just quickly chat through um, our renovation plan now that we have more of a solid idea of what we're going to be doing. After we had our consultation with the second builder we settled on building up um, as there would have been just as much structural work required to do that as to do all of the ground floor renovation plans that we had originally wanted to do. And it makes more sense for us as well because it means that we have um, just as much outdoor space as we currently have, but we get uh, additional space upstairs. So we're either gonna add 80 or 90 square meters upstairs and we'll have the three main bedrooms up there along with a lounge area and an ensuite on our room, a walk-in robe, a linen cupboard, and also a bathroom too with a bath in it, which would be good because our current bathroom is just a shower. Um, so it'll be handy to have that just for our son for bath time. Um, and then downstairs, what we're gonna do is you can probably see there's this wall right here and I'm in the living room. On the other side of the wall is the kitchen. So we're gonna knock out that wall in addition to the wall behind me, which will, in essentially turn this into a really big open plan space and we're going to put in a new kitchen um, we'll have an island in there as well and then bifolds out where the dining table area is that go out onto a new deck which will be level with the house we also are going to be doing new flooring throughout the entire house just because um, we've really noticed a lot of wear and tear on the original floorboards so we've decided to go with engineered timber flooring we've settled on the color um, and so we really just need to know exactly how much um, flooring we'll need so that we can get that quote finalized but we have a rough idea so that's really cool oh and <laughs> I forgot to mention we're gonna be replacing all the windows throughout the house as well because uh, they're due for an update so quite a lot of work to be doing but we're really excited because it's gonna just 
transform this house entirely um, and it's going to be really nice for my husband and I to both have our own dedicated um, studies so he's going to have his own office in the spare room where I was um, earlier taking those photos and then my office will be our current master bedroom so um, yeah that'll be really good for us to have that personal space where we can go and do our work um, and then we can just close the door and forget about it um, especially with a lot of us working from home more these days <laughs> so that's really cool the builder did mention we should be able to actually stay in the house throughout the renovation as well which is really cool because um, as you can imagine trying to find a short-term let in Sydney is challenging and um, even more so when you have a young child and then three pets to add into the mix um, in terms of yeah where we are currently at right now with the whole process we've received our amended uh, quote at least with the scope of the work that we are planning to do and once we have gone through that and we are happy with it the next step would actually be to start drawing up the plans and then send them off to the council for approval once the council has approved the plans then it's really a matter of um, availability in the builders schedule so um, we probably won't be starting any work on the property until the new year which is totally fine by me it kind of means we can enjoy the whole Christmas period without having any disruption to our lives which makes it a lot easier uh, but yeah it just does mean it'll be a little while before I'll be sharing any updates on a renovation but just to give you a bit of a timeline so um, you can understand where we are at the moment but still something we're so excited about and it's been really fun um, looking at kitchens and also bathroom inspiration you know so we can decide on our tiling and also what sort of finishes and things we want to have in the kitchen and kind of fun because I think we're going to do a sort of a muted color in the kitchen too on the cabinets so excited for that yeah how many times can I say excited in five minutes <laughs> but yeah that is sort of that's sort of it for me oh and actually I did want to give an update on book that I'm reading at the moment so thank you for those of you who provided me with some recommendations I've actually got them all noted in um, my phone I ended up getting a book like that night because I sort of wanted something new to listen to and I've been listening to Clara and the Sun and I forget the author's name um She's a Japanese author and I have to say for the first half of the book I was really really into it. I really really enjoyed it. I'm sort of I would say three quarters of the way perhaps or more through and it started to get a little bit unusual and I'm not really sure where the story is going so I'm kind of hoping that things are going to kind of um, tie themselves together in a neat little bow by the end of the book but um, it's been interesting. I quite enjoy um, books that have a little bit of a sci-fi bent to them and it does with the whole artificial friend so um, yeah I'll let you know what I think when I finish reading it. <laughs> I actually think I might wrap things up here and just spend the rest of the afternoon chilling out before diving into the work week but I want to say thank you so much for spending some of your afternoon with me and of course to Ship It Too for partnering with me on this video. If you haven't already done so and you have been wanting to purchase something from a brand which only ships within the US I highly recommend clicking on the link and signing up because you will get that 15% discount on your first shipment and it really is such an easy service to use but I just want to say I hope you have an incredible rest of your week and I will see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye